Hey everybody, what we're making today is we're making General's Tofu. Some of my longtime viewers may know that a long time ago I did a dish, it was General's Chicken. But, you know, with what I got going on health-wise and everything, I have to cut out a lot of meat. And General's Tofu is a great way to where I get that flavor, but yet I get my protein and all that other good stuff. And it's, it's I mean, it's tofu. James, I hope this tofu dish is not boring. Yes, it will be delicious. It's, he thinks it's going to be boring. You know, he's had some really bad tofu. I mean, Vegan Vader, I mean, he's had lots of versions of tofu, and he's had some really bad versions. I promise you, this version will not suck today. We're going to do what we can to keep it good, all the other good stuff. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. I've got my ingredients for my sauce, because we've got to have our sauce. There we go. There we go. Add a little bit more. There. So, what I have here is I have some vegetable stock. I've got some soy sauce. This is the dark soy sauce. This is what's going to help make everything nice and dark. I've got some regular soy sauce. It's a little more salty flavor. If you want to go gluten free, then you can use uh, some, some, what they call that, tamari. Anyway, I, I have here, I have some black vinegar. That's this stuff right here. It's a pretty mild vinegar. It's, it's closer, very similar to balsamic, only it's a Chinese version. Put you out the way. I've got some raw sugar. Now, of course, all ingredients I'm going to put under the show more. And it'll be the rest of the printable recipe is going to be my blog with all the nutrition information and all that stuff. I've got some hoisin sauce. Now, you may be noticing that there's a lot of liquid compared to the other ingredients. The tofu, by the time we get done frying it and everything, it's uh, going to soak up a lot of sauce. If it's fried, it shall be good. Yes, if something's fried, it's probably good. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix this up. Now I've got a small bowl here, because as you guys probably noticed, I'm in a different apartment. I don't quite have everything set up just yet. Anyway, don't get excited. Now, if I thought I wasn't gonna soak up all this sauce, then I would take and make up a little bit of cornstarch with some water, and I could put that on the side. So if my sauce doesn't thicken up, then I can use that to thicken the sauce. All right, so here, I have about two green onions chopped up. I chopped up a bunch the other day and I just took some. I've got some bell pepper. I'm using red today. You can use whatever color you want or leave them out. I've got one, one large clove of garlic chopped up and I've got some ginger. Now if you notice this isn't really finely chopped up, it's little pieces. That's the size I want it because I want you to know it's in there. And if you get it too fine, like if you try to grate it on a microplane grater, it'll tend to burn. So. What I got going on over here, sorry if I'm going a little too fast with the camera, I'm not quite used to this setup yet. Let me get that right there. I've got a jug of water. I've got two cutting boards. I'll put that right there. And here I've got my tofu. This tofu, I froze it, and then I put it in the refrigerator, let it defrost. And then I've been pressing it for about an hour, but I'm still getting liquid out of it. That's what we want. This is, this is 19 ounces of tofu, and uh, it came already cut up into these four, four pieces, which is really convenient for me. So basically it's been frozen, defrosted, and then I've pressed it out. This was firm tofu. If I could have found extra firm, I would have bought that. But, you know, we can get the extra excess moisture out of it. And by doing this, it's going to be a lot more chewy slash meat-like consistency. Okay. Got to, keep, got to keep washing my hands and all that good stuff. Or the food police will come by. So pretty simple procedure from here. We're just gonna take, and we're gonna cut this into pretty good sized cubes. There we go. 
probably should go thirds. Then they're nice and even like this. I like that. So here's our tofu. It's all cut up, dry, mashed, all kinds of stuff. We've done all kinds of stuff to this tofu. Froze it. We have abused it pretty good. Now what we're going to do, I'm putting a little salt in here because it is pretty bland. James, I cannot eat bland tofu. Yes, it's bland. Okay. But it, when we get done, it's going to be pretty good. Yeah. He's worried about it being bland. All right. So I've got some cornstarch. I got a tablespoon of it. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle this in here. Oops. Now, now we're going to toss this. Oh yeah, the food police are probably going to get on us since it's a meat substitute and I'm touching it with my hands. It's going to be all terrible because you know if you touch meat with your hands, you die. Or at least according to the YouTube food police, that's what happens. You know, I didn't know that until I'd been on YouTube for a while. Then I found that out from all the police that comment. Anyway, we're going to toss this in here. And now we're going to fry this up. So I've got some oil heating up. Feels like it's hot. I see it shimmering, all that good stuff. I've got it on a pretty low setting. I was letting that oil heat up while I was doing some other things. So now we're going to start. Oh yeah, we're warm. And I'm just kind of spacing these out. Like anything else, don't overcrowd your pan. If you hear it slowing down, means I probably need a little bit more heat. I don't want to get carried away. Because I am kind of cooking the tofu, but I'm putting the crust on the outside. So, you know, that way it's nice and crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside. As they start to cook, you can start adding a few more to the pan. I've already done that. I'm gonna put a couple more in here, and then we're gonna start taking some out. So we don't wanna make them hard as a rock. See that one? That's basically what we're looking for. Just put a nice crust on them. And we're just going to keep cooking them until they're all done. Now, if you don't want to fry these, you can bake them in the oven. That works pretty good also. Be a little healthier, but uh, I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I'll fry them, sometimes I'll bake them. It just depends on what mood I'm in. So anyway, I'll be back here in just a few minutes. So now I've moved the, the pan with the oil in it. I've moved it out of the way. And I put this pan on here. I've got a little bit of oil in there heating up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this garlic and ginger right in the oil. See that's just starting to sizzle a little bit. And as it, whoop, got our bell pepper and our green onion in there. Now, now I do have a wok here, and I've got one that's flat bottomed and good for this. But really, I mean, I'm what I'm cooking tonight. I don't, I don't think I need a wok, and I don't think it gives me any advantage or anything like that. So we're just going to stick with the nonstick pan tonight because I'm not doing extreme heat or anything like that. And what we're going to do, we're just going to soften this up, and this little bit of oil that's in the pan, it's going to pick up a lot of flavor from the garlic and the ginger and the green onion and the bell pepper and then that's going to help season everything that's going on. So all we're doing is we're softening these up, especially the garlic and the ginger. Because if you bite into raw garlic, it's kind of, 
it's got a bite to it. It bites you back, I guess you could say. Okay, so my garlic and ginger is not raw anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sauce in here. And I'm going to bring it to a boil. We're going to take our golden brown and delicious tofu and we're going to put that in here. I'm going to start stirring this around. See how well it thickens this, or see how well it absorbs the sauce if it gets thickened up. If it doesn't, I have a little cornstarch and water right here to take care of that. We'll only use that if we need to. See how that's soaking that sauce up and that sauce is thickening? All right, electric burner, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I don't think I'm gonna need the cornstarch, but it's nice to have in case I do need it. I'm just gonna keep flipping these around, coating all the sides. Okay, definitely don't need the, uh, the cornstarch because it's soaked just about all that up. I'm going to get this on the plate, take a picture, and I'll be back with you for the taste test. So let's see how it tastes. Now you could garnish this with a green onion, sesame seeds, and all that. But you know, I just kind of did it plain. Anyway. Mm. That flavorful sauce definitely soaked in there. I mean, you saw it soaking up, and it's very flavorful. It's really nice. Uh, I would kind of like something a little spicy, maybe a little sriracha or something in there. That'd be good. The texture is really nice. It's got a nice chew to it. Anyway, hope you guys try it. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna put a the ingredient. I'm gonna put a link to the ingredients and the information, nutrition information, and a printable recipe card and all that good stuff to my website. Anyway, hope you enjoy it.